Hello everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today I'm going to be showing part two of our home building process. If you missed part one, it was my previous video and go back and check it out. The first pictures that I'm going to be sharing are from July the 12th. Our windows were delivered and installed. This was something that was on a major back order whenever we were building our home. They actually ordered our windows the day that we signed our contract. So it did take a while for our windows to come in. So we were so excited whenever they finally were delivered and we were able to get those in and then things really picked up with the building of our home. The pictures after the windows are going to be some Bible verses. Probably my favorite thing that we decided to do that was so special was he, we had our family write on the studs of our walls their favorite Bible verses to wish us um, success and happiness and growth in our new home. And me, my husband, as well as our family wrote on those studs. So I want to share those with you now. Ephesians 2.8 for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. I wrote this in our bedroom as a reminder to myself and my husband that love never fails. Acts two forty six. They broke breads in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. I wrote this in our dining room window. I wrote this above our front door, and I pray that everyone who walks through our house feels this way. Deuteronomy 28, 6. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. My husband chose this verse to write in Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those that love him and who have been called according to his purpose. Proverbs twenty three twenty nine. The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice, and he who sires a wise son will be glad in him. Kenny chose this verse from his dad, who I know watched from heaven with a big smile and a joyful heart as he watched us build our forever home. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Second Peter three eighteen. I wrote this in my son's room. This is Rowdy's penmanship in his room. He was so excited that he got to write on the wall with a permanent marker. We also traced his hand in his room on July the 5th, 2022. My brother chose Psalm 23 to write in Rowdy's bedroom. Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such of these. Matthew nineteen fourteen. This is from my mom. My grandmother wrote Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, and he will guide your path. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Number 624. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. My mom chose this verse as well to share for me and Kenny. 1 Corinthians 13 4 through 8. Love never fails. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. The Lord will keep you from evil. He will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and go, now and forever. Psalms 121, 8. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowances for each other's fault because of your love. Ephesians 4, 2. And we know that all things work together for the good of those that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Train up your children in the way they should go, for when they are older, they will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. God is our shelter and strength. Psalms 45, 1. 
Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Luke 6, 31. I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1, 5. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundations on the rock. Matthew seven twenty five. 25. 1 Corinthians 10, 12 through 14. Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Colossians 1, 11. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. Hebrews 3, 4. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Psalms 84, 10. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for peace and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. With the knowledge the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant rubies. Proverbs twenty four three three four. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua twenty four fifteen. Let all that you do be done in love. First Corinthians sixteen fourteen. Give us clean hands and pure hearts. Psalms 24, 4. I honestly still get choked up every time I look at these pictures and I'm so thankful for the love and support that we have from our family during this process and throughout everything in our lives. We are so blessed by God and so thankful for our families. These next pictures are from July the 18th and the metal started being added to the side of our house. A couple of pictures were from the 18th and then a few from the 19th through the 21st. On July 21st, it started to become insulated. I hope that's the right word, but I think it is. These pictures are some updates from July the 23rd. This is underneath our carport, and this is a look at the back side of our house. These next pictures um, are from our living room. The ceiling was up, and the drywall started being added to the wall. There are multiple pictures of this. I'm just showing you the different rooms of the drywall being added. This is our bathroom. And that is a look at where our closets are. And right there to the right, you can see the tub. And these pictures are from July the 25th. This is the master shower in the master bath. This is the master bedroom leading into the master bathroom. This is the walk-in pantry and our breaker box is in there as well. And this is a picture of an extra bedroom. This is Rowdy's room with the double windows. And this is the extra bathroom. In this picture, you can see our fireplace in the corner of the living room. And also here are some more pictures of our ceiling. I'm so glad that we were able to do vaulted ceiling. I really like how it turned out. And this is a picture of our laundry slash mudroom leading out to the garage. On July the 28th, compound started being added to the walls throughout the house. Um, I think this is, yes, this is the main living area and the kitchen. This is in the master bedroom. And they also started working on the front of the house. They started putting up the hardy board, um, which will be painted white. The color of our metal is bone white. And we picked a little bit of a brighter white to paint the front of the house. And I think it really stands out, especially since we did a different texture on the front of the house. 
I'm so glad that I decided to make these videos, even if just for myself, it's so cool to go back and see the process laid out. I know I took pictures and things as we were going through it, but to see them just change from one thing to the next, it's just really cool to see the process of it and then know how beautiful it ended up. On August the 8th, they put our shingles on our gable end and those will be painted white, the same color as the front of our house as well. I'm so glad that we decided to do that. I really like how it turned out. On August the 11th, I just took some updates. There are some pictures of our bedroom um, and just showing you that here. And also the closet doors and the bedroom doors were put on this date as well. Like I said, this was August the 11th. That is going to be leading into our bathroom and we do end up getting sliding barn doors to go on there and they had not been delivered yet. So these were just our masonite doors that were added on at this time. Our brick for our fireplace and the outside of our house was also delivered on this day and we went with an Acme brick and it was called the Aiden Blend. On August the 16th, the front of our house and the side of our house started getting bricked and we got to pick um, the mortar color and in case you didn't know, there are thousands of different white mortar colors to choose from. <laughs> that was a little difficult and overwhelming, but I love how it turned out. And like I said, this is um, Aiden Blend is the brick that we went with. And here you can see that our fireplace started getting bricked up as well. And I was so excited um, to see this take place. On August the 18th, our fireplace is completely bricked and I am still so in love with our fireplace and how it turned out. I'm so glad that we decided to put it in the corner of our living room. Here are just a few other update pictures from August the 18th as well. Our exterior doors were stained on August the 23rd. On August the 27th, the front of our house was pretty much finished, except for the columns. They would be added and stained at a later date, but this is what the front of our house was looking like at this time, and also um, the tile started going in the master bath. One of my favorite updates was on August the 29th, whenever our cabinets were installed. I'm so in love with our cabinets. They are all soft clothes, and we did the shaker style cabinets. Um, and this is a picture of them in our kitchen. And I absolutely love my cabinets, and I'm so glad that we went with the style and color that we did. My farmhouse sink is also delivered on this day, and that will be the last picture that you'll see in the kitchen. And this is going to be the last update um, for the home building process part two. I will have one more home building updates video, and that will be my next video. So I hope that you are enjoying seeing this. Like I said, I know we are kind of going back in time a little bit, but I thought it would be fun to see. And I hope that you have enjoyed this little series on my channel. I thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.